Welcome everyone to another F1 2021 My Team video. Today we're heading to the Silverstone UK Grand Prix and as I mentioned in the previous episode, today's going to be a little special episode and I think you guys will see a tiny bit of uh, the livery in the back. But yes, we have a special livery to pay tribute to the uh, late Sir Frank Williams who passed away this past week weekend and uh, the F1 community is pretty much mourning his passing uh, passing of a legend who has given so much to the sport and has evolved so much of the F1 um, paddock and I think it is best to pay tribute to him at Silverstone his hometown uh, the place where he did get inspired to join F1 and I think we will present this livery in a way that pays homage to what he has given the F1 community. So hopefully we can win today's race with this livery in mind. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So let's move on to the Silverstone Grand Prix. Before we continue though, just want to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button down below is pressed. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. More F1 2021 My Team content will be going up on the regular. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you guys so much for the support and let's move on with our tribute to Sir Frank Williams and the British Grand Prix. Today we pay tribute to one of the greatest names in F1 history. The passing of Sir Frank Williams this past week has really hit the F1 community hard and I decided to pay tribute in our own special way by creating a livery based on his history, the history of Williams racing and kind of taking a look back at his best moments uh but yeah so here is the livery you guys are seeing a detailed look at the uh, livery itself so if you guys take a look we have offered um we've pretty much created a livery that really highlights all of his successes the gold around the top of the vehicle pretty much is similar to that of the first uh, Williams uh, racing car that won a world's driver championship uh, I believe Nigel Mansell also drove a car with that golden exhaust up top or the air inflow at the top and I also went for the Williams dark blue uh, added accents around the car and then I've added the modern blue shade as well of the modern Williams car uh, to really encapsulate the long career that Sir Frank Williams has had in Formula One rear wing also showing thank you Sir France, uh, Frank Williams um, born 1942 uh, passed away in 2021 and that is also on the near the halo and we also wrote rest in peace sir frank williams on the halo there uh, at the on the wings i also added all the um winners all the years he's won a driver's world championship or e um or the constructors and he is uh, under his name, under Williams Racing, there have been seven Drivers World Champions as well as nine Constructor Championship wins. And that is quite a stellar uh, career under Williams Racing. Now, many of you may know that Williams is struggling at this time, but uh, hopefully uh, the legacy can continue and hopefully the Williams Racing name will continue on. Added his face on the side of the vehicle as well, near the chassis or near the cockpit, just uh, as a reminder of his, you know, passion and vibrance in the F1 paddock. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I hope you guys like this livery. Uh, we pay tribute to a passing legend, and hopefully. Uh, his legacy will remain strong in the future years to come. So yeah, that is my tribute to him. We will race under this uh, under this uh, chassis today, under this livery. And hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, went for something that would encapsulate his whole career. And I think it does well. We'll see if we can bring the performance at Silverstone, of course. I specifically, I think I just mentioned it before as well, but... Yeah, I'll mention again, I think Silverstone is a great circuit to really present uh, this livery uh, back home in his home country. And hopefully we can get a win uh, to really amplify his uh, message and hopefully we can pay tribute to him that way.
welcome to qualifying at the Silverson Circuit for the British Grand Prix. Practice session overall was pretty straightforward. The track is as we usually know it. Quite difficult at certain points but we did succeed in getting all the necessary development boosts and the resource points meaning that we successfully completed all the practice programs. Shalom's are a bit difficult as always but I think I've got it down to a T now so I think we should be in for a Q3 appearance hopefully. Knock on wood. Fingers crossed. Uh, the livery overall looks very nice I think. Really um kind of encapsulates all the different uh, genres of or rather I should say the generations different generations of the Williams racing livery and I think it shines nicely and sends a nice farewell to Sir Frank Williams hopefully we can emulate uh, the passion of Sir Frank Williams uh, during the race itself hopefully we can have a good race and hopefully we can finish off strong and really blast his name um in today's grand prix N hopefully we can send him off with a nice drive and a good performance today that's what i'm trying to get at now let's uh head on into qualifying getting ready here i just need to make one change there we go that is fine and we are ready to go so we'll let time fly it's going to be a dry race and dry qualifying, so we're going to let everyone set their times. 124.0 by Lando Norris seems to be the fastest. Never mind, Giovinazzi with a 123.8. Uh, we're going to go out with five or so minutes remaining, and we should set some decent lap times. So let's see if we can get out of Q1. Here we go, lap one of Q1. Ooh, P2, just behind George Russell. I think we should be good. I think we should be good to see us into the next round of qualifying. Indeed, Marvelous Labs puts us P2 just behind George Russell. Seven tenths of a difference between us. Pierre Gasly and P6, which is good to see. Aitken, Mazepin, Eilert, Lungard, Latifi, and Schwartzman get knocked out. Let's see what happens in Q2. All right, first lap of Q2, fastest lap. We have to do one more lap just to be sure. There's a lot of time still to be found in that lap, to be honest. All right, moment of truth. Do we get out of two Q2? Let's see. Whoa, yes, we do. Five and six. P5, P6 for Sue Elite Racing. Antonio Giovinazzi with the fastest lap. He was four hundred, four tenths faster than I was. Wow, that's some. Qu that's quite a bit of pace. Uh, six tenths away was Carlos Sainz with P10. So that was the range that you had to get within. Stroll, Schumacher, Joe, Raikkonen, Sunoda, and Leclerc get knocked out. Let's move on to Q3, the shootout. All right, lap one of Q3, fastest lap, but we know the AI drivers are going to improve on their lap times a lot more. All right, much improved, only slightly. One, ten, one thousandth improved. Well, the AI has improved quite an insane amount of time p5 for us p9 for pierre gasly he has dropped off a bit but it is a mercedes red bull one two let's see if we can make good gains in the race itself let's hope for a strong finish on race day welcome along then to great britain and the great silverstone circuit for today's grand prix
With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tyres, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tyres. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Antonio Giovinazzi put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Norris, Perez, the Golden Boy and Hamilton, Sainz, Russell, Gasly and Esteban Ocon, Leclerc, Sonoda, Kimi Raikkonen and Joe. Mick Schumacher, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Nicholas Latifi, Lundgaard, Eilert, Mazepin, and Jack Aitken. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. All right, let's get going here at Silverstone. Um, let's take a look at our strategy. Yeah, it seems like that is the best we can get. I'm going to keep a little bit of fuel extra in the car, mainly because I am going to be using a lot of fuel in this circuit, as always. But here we go. Let's have a good drive for Sir Frank Williams. Bless him. Let's get going. Five red lights here in Silverstone, and let's see if we can get a good race in, and away we go. Decent getaway here. Perez is ho having a horrible time up front. There's a yellow flag. Up to P4. VSC out. VSC is out. Oh, safety car deployed. Esteban Alcon's out. Safety car's out. Okay, I don't know what happened to Alcon, but you guys probably saw the replay. It's a rolling restart, I guess. So Alcon's out. Anyone else? Nah. Probably someone has a broken wing or something, surely. Or a damaged vehicle. Teammate status? We're leading our teammate by 2.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 10th. Oh, Guan Yu Zhou's out too. What's happening to him? Guan Yu Zhou had an issue too, so two down already. I mean, we had a whole fiasco of safety cars in Austria. Now we have another safety car in Silverstone. Okay, green flag running. Lando Norris has jumped the curb for some odd reason. Let's get going once more. Driver in front. Verstappen is ahead of you. The gap to the car ahead is 1.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Their tires are three laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 2.12.7. We're slower by nine tenths a lap. Definitely not going to be making a huge impact today. Oh no, guys. My MFD's effed. What's my We're only two seconds behind the car ahead. Keep pushing. Okay, there appears to be an issue. Oh no. Where? 
there's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. I can't catch the guys ahead. They are steaming ahead. We're so slow on the circuit. Okay, looks oh. like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe oh. spot to retire. Sorry about that. This is serious. We need you to retire as soon as possible. Are you all right? Engine off, engine off. Here we are then, a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Ah, uh, engine issues, man. What the hell? That is so unfortunate. I wanted to bring that car to the podium, but the engine gave out. That is one poor way of doing a tribute. Damn it. Oh well, it is what it is. Engine problems strike us at Silverstone. What a shame. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Yuki Tsunoda gets my vote today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Ah, oh, this is pain. Absolute pain. Giovinazzi, Verstappen, and Norris on the podium, as we just saw. Giovinazzi gets the fastest lap as well to add salt to the wound. Perez, Russell, Sonoda, Hamilton, Gasly, Raikkonen, and Leclerc round out the finishers with points. Signs, Schumacher, Schwartzman, Stroll, Eilert. Lungard, Latifi, Mazepin, Aiken uh, are the finishers with Joe, Ocon and myself not finishing the race today. Standings wise, let's see how this changes. 81 point gap to Verstappen now, 99 point gap to Antonio Giovinazzi. People are starting to catch us a little bit. Still 205 points to us at the top. Constructor standings wise, our lead is slightly shrinking, not by too much. Uh, 142 point gap to Red Bull, 158 to Mercedes. Now, I do see a penalty for Mick Schumacher. Let's see what unserved penalty from ignoring yellow flags. Interesting. So he had a five second time penalty. Stroll had a severe collision with Guan Yu Zhou, which cost Zhou the race. Interesting. But anyway, that is uh, that is so unfortunate. Uh, that is heartbreak today. I wanted to really pay tribute to um, Sir Frank. Williams, but we couldn't really complete the Grand Prix, which is a shame. Pierre Gasly, though, got us points, four points from him, but I really wanted to be on that podium. I was on a good streak as well. The safety car restart was brilliant, up to P3, but we just couldn't finish the Grand Prix. Uh, it was a sad early exit from the Grand Prix, which uh, I don't really like, but we have to deal with what we got. Hope you guys liked delivery. It was something that I could conjure up in a short amount of time. Uh, the passing of Sir Frank Williams is a sad one. And yeah, I really want to win this one for uh, his honor, but couldn't win it at Silverstone. Uh, Silverstone is a difficult track for the player and it got cut short by an engine problem, but hopefully the next round will be more fruitful. Hopefully we can have a better result next time. Maybe I'll leave the livery on for another race, just to complete a race. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as the next episode goes live. More info on 2021.
my team content is going up so please be sure to be subscribed so don't miss out on the next episode r.i.p uh, frank williams sir frank williams uh Con condolences to the Williams family and yeah uh, hopefully we can have a good Saudi Arabian Grand Prix this coming weekend to honor him as well thank you guys so much for watching please stay safe stay healthy and I'll see you guys in the next video of mine Cause you